Hello there, people on the internet. This is Shadowgear635 here with the first review of Necrosphereian Month. It, it's October. It's, it's Halloween. It, it, it's spoopy time. It's always spoopy time. So I'm reviewing the spoopy mocks. Starting with my first one. Not my first, but my favorite. My favorite of the Necrosphereans I've ever made because I like her design. Um, if I'm going to get into some kind of backstory. Um, what is this? I made her like... Like, this tattoo artist, and, like, she got into an accident, and she was in a hospital, and, like... Well, okay, so here here's the deal with the Necrospherians, for those of you who don't know, because it's kind of convoluted. The Necrospherians are a species I created, and somewhat regret, but kind of don't, sometimes do, of, um... They are ghosts, mechanical ghosts, that are created by people who commit suicide, and then they take form in the shape of how they died. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit grim, and uh, what other month, what more appropriate month is there to review this? So yeah, she was in a hospital, and she realized, like, oh man, hey, you're, you were fucked up, like, you're gonna be in, like, a comatose state for the rest of your life, or something along those lines, and she was like, I don't want that! And then, she just kind of took her own life by jabbing something into her eye, a scalpel into her eye, or some sort of sharp object, and she, meh. She became this. I kind of don't necessarily care about the stories of these guys so much anymore. But their designs, I think, still kind of hold up. One of them don't, but I'll get to him later in the month. But, um, let's start off with Mallory. So starting from the ground up, as we normally do, uh, looking at her very boot-like feet. A bit of annoying feet, to be honest, as well. Because the way her feet are designed, her feet can't go back. It's it's weird, I know. If your feet can't go back, they can go forward. They can go forward a lot. Like, if you want to make her do, like, Michael Jackson, like, kind of tilt, and then go back up. But she can't move her feet back at all. And, uh, it's a bit annoying. Also, this little bit. You can extend that if you want. Uh, no real good reason to do it. So I just leave it collapsed. Uh, but there's tilt. That's all there. Um, the leg... I kind of still like this design a lot, and I, I might do a reiteration of it later on. But, um... It's a Hordika leg mixed with a Hero Factory bit. And, uh, looks a little bit awkward from the back. Especially me, because I'm a bit of a hypocrite, because I didn't cover up that ball joint. Which is a personal thing that I don't like. But, um... The front of the leg, I still think, look, looks solid. Um... I really wanted to use... These black and yellow Hero Factory armor bits that were on... Uh, it was the Wasp Hero Factory villain, but I forget whose name it was. But I wanted to have it on there. So, uh, to compensate for that, add a little bit more uh, normal yellow added to the cute orange of the mock. To kind of make it look a bit more normal. But, uh, yeah. Here's a good knee bend. A little bit more than 90. It's looking pretty alright. But the design's fine. Upper leg is incredibly simple. You can... Definitely tell what's going on there. A complaint with the mock uh, that I've gotten is that the leg has a really awkward knee. As the order, the leg bends here. Like the leg, like the knee should be right around here, but instead it's up here, and that's completely my fault. I personally don't mind it. Like in some poses, you can tell it's really awkward, but um, I don't know. I think it looks okay for certain poses. She's she's pretty stable standing up, especially in crazier poses. Looking at the really elongated hip and waist section. Mm. I'm sorry about that. It's allergy season, more or less. But, um, yeah, the, you know, the crotch and waist area look fine. I mean, there's nothing, nothing crazily or overly designed here, but everything that needs to work does. As for the abdomen, well, it's really long. It's really elongated. And, um, I think that's one of the reasons I like this mock so much, because I decided to make her proportions really long. And, uh, you know, I very well can just take this bit off, and I can just put that there, and, like, shorten the arms, and then she would look a little bit more natural. But that's not the whole point of these guys. The whole point is to make them look a little bit bizarre, a little bit, um, not uncanny valley, because that's the opposite of what the word actually means, or the phrase. But, uh, 
it works. I like the elongated proportions, and it's very poseable and stable. Because she, because the little tire bit as well as the Hero Factory joint, she can just do all she wants. Yeah, I love that poseability. Um, as for the torso, like, once again, nothing crazy going on. A little bit that I um, I discovered after I built her that I can flip these little bits out. I just had them there to fill in that little space. If I want like little tusks to come out of the bottom of her rib cage, or actually be part of her rib cage, I. I could do that. Those bits are there. But, uh, nothing fantastic going on with the torso. There's this little bit here that does absolutely nothing. But it's there. It's there for those who want it. And that's that. Another thing that I wish to... I want to I wanna incorporate this in more mocks, but I don't. Is, um, there is inward shoulder articulation. Like, there's a bit in here that you can move as well as the shoulder. So you can get the arm to do really crazy cool poses. Whoa! And not rip off that joint. Um, Mallory, as well as a couple other mocks, um, like, um, like Nightshade, who I reviewed earlier. And, um, later on you'll see Neobros, later reviewed in the month. Um, this is back when the Hero Factory, um, skeletal system first came out and people were really starting to do experimenting. And, uh, I, I like what I did here. I want to go back and try to do more of this, but, um... I think this is, like, this mock looks really friggin' weird, but it shines in posability, I believe. And you're really out of focus! The camera is my enemy. Ha! Huh. So, let's move on to the arms. Now, if you see here, uh, this is... I might as well do a review for each arm, because they're both drastically different. This is the long, probably the most simple... Part of the entire mock is this arm here, which, again, you can definitely tell what's going on with this arm. Uh, but it's, it's all right. Like people have said, I should put armor on there, but I kind of don't. Like I, I just like to leave it bare like that, guys. It, it, it's definitely skeletal. Like it works, but um, I, I just like the way it looks. And although simple, friggin' love this design I have with the lower arm because um. It's the same as the upper arm, except I extended it with one little small hero factor joint, and that little connection right there gives it enough cl enough friction to hold this hero factor armor into place. And adding this long, this long pipe-looking piece definitely helps it secure, and um, it's cool. And I can even I can even bend this joint in the wrist. Like there's, I guess you can say there's a double jointed wrist going on. Like it looks a little bit awkward, so I kind of don't tend to use that design or just use that bit of articulation but whatever the hands you know you, you you've pro if you've been a moccasin on the internet for a while you've seen hands like this before but um to kind of simulate that scalpel thing i was talking about before i kind of did this sort of thing to where i gave her ninja swords for hands to kind of simulate scalpels and it's another feature of this mock i really like like this is a long very vertical very you know, kind of thin mock, and what better way to, you know, make that more apparent than give her really long fingernails, more or less. And, um, it works. Now, this arm, uh, this was this arm was kind of the crux of the entire build. Uh, another thing about her human form is that she was a tattoo artist, and so I made a tattoo gun arm, which, um, I guess that's a first, I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, up there you got two little tanks, and thankfully it had those little cute orange flower bits because they look like little nozzles on the top, which I think looks kind of neato. But, um, and the arm's still posable, actually. Like here on this joint. Oh, I'm moving that joint and I'm actually showing it on camera. What is wrong with me? But yeah, it can move all around. Uh, the, the pieces do, these little bits do come apart every now and again. But uh, it's not, it's not too often they do. At least I want to believe it's not too often that they do. But that arm still retains its posability and all that. And this fell off. I'll put that back on in a bit. Lower arm. I think um, this is actually a new addition. This little minifigure screwdriver piece. I've been looking for this piece. And I purposely have not been ordering it off of Bricklink because I know I owned it. I know I had this piece and I finally found it. So... That is a thing. So I put that there. It's a little nozzle. Little little bit to put at the tip. 
It works out. There's even a little fold out claw bit. So if you if I wanted to give her a little claw, then I could turn it into a little claw. It made a little bit more sense when there's another curved spike piece at the end of this, but it's fine. We can just put that away. Not even noticeable. And lastly, we go back up top. We check out her head, which is missing. Um, I don't want to see a crucial part because this little wing bit fell off. So, the deal with Mallory's thing, again, like the way she killed herself, more or less, is that she stabbed herself in the eye. And I simulated that by adding this giant mechanical, like, visor piece add to the front and to the side of her face. And then this would be like her monster ghost face. And so you add both that together. I guess you can say she has six eyes, but I, I don't know if you want to stretch that out <laughs> at all. But, um, yeah, she's got this little... It's a little bit here, because you can count that as hair or whatever. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to put her in a little weird pose right now. That's a really dumb pose. <laughs> like, that's a real... Oh, 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 jeez. That's a that's a really dumb pose. But, yeah, that's Mallory. I, I really enjoyed this mock. Um, she's my favorite for the sake of posability. And she's just kind of a fun toy to mess with. Um, I feel like... The, ne the, the necklace streamings I made after her uh, was primarily just one or two. I focused more on detail, more so than posability, and that's kind of how a lot of my mocks have been treated recently. But, um, I think, like, this is the last great posable mock I've made in a while. Uh, I guess you can kind of say Circuit's posable, but she's not as posable as I wish she would be. But, um, yeah. Okay. That is, this is Shadow Gear 635, and I'll see you folks.